Well, we're here in Alaska and just wrapped up an epic caribou hunt. Thought I'd share with you a few tips and tactics and things to keep in mind anytime that you're planning an adventure hunt. If you decide you want to go chase caribou in Alaska, you've got a lot of opportunities. You can hunt the migratory herds. Um, sometimes the risk there is that you might be a little bit too early or a little bit too late with the migration. I've heard of guys going up for five days and not seeing an animal. And of course you get the whole, boy, you should have been here last week, or boy, next week would have been prime. We chose to take that risk out and hunted a little bit more of a resident herd. The advantage with hunting a smaller resident herd is that you are going to see animals every single day. You're not going to see tens or 20,000, which a lot of times you hear people when they're hunting those migratory herds that they're seeing. Sometimes we only saw 10 or 20, but we saw quality animals and there were plenty of good bulls that we could go after. So just do your research and figure out what it is that you're looking for. If you time the migrations right, I hear it can be phenomenal. But if you want to have a guaranteed shot at seeing animals and having a chance at a good bull, sometimes the smaller resident herds are a good way to go. If you really want to ensure that you're going to get five or seven days hunting, plan a 10 or 12 day hunt. Have a day or two on the other end where it might get canceled, changed, delayed because of weather. It doesn't matter if it's August or October. You can go from sunshine to rain and terrible conditions in a matter of half a day, even a couple of hours. And uh, you got to be prepared for that. Anytime you're hunting outside of your state, you really need to know the local game laws. Every state is different, including Alaska from where I'm from in Colorado. The wanton waste of game up there is a huge issue. You take an animal in Alaska, they want you to take out every bit of usable meat and don't try to cut any corners because we got checked by the state troopers up there. They're gonna to wanna to check your game bags, they're gonna to wanna to have you show them the rib meat, the strips, and all the extra meat. They're gonna want the GPS coordinates if you're a kill, they will fly over it. So just make sure that you're aware of the game laws and be prepared to be packing out an extra 50, 60, 70 pounds of meat than you're used to. Um, plus you're on that destination hunt, you wanna bring back every bit of meat that you can.